Hello everybody and welcome back to our Venetica playthrough. I'm your host Alan Four. You find us where we left off in the last episode. We are off to attempt to uh, locate some clothing and also the Moonblade. So we can't actually go any further until we've spoken to these guys so let's talk to them. Hey, hey stop! What are you sleepwalking going into the wilderness with a torn nightdress? There are still thugs out there for your own safety. You should at least wear something you can't trip over. The blacksmith has a daughter of your age, or so I've heard. Maybe he can help you out. Mind you, his daughter's a bit more the fully figured type, if you know what I mean. Ah, okay, so basically what they're saying is I can't progress until I've found the clothing. But he said uh, the house opposite the blacksmith so now one of the things that I've been led to believe is that this uh, oh there we go this game doesn't really have an awfully good tracking system in terms of quests so a lot of this is going to be me just finding out stuff for myself really um, books that you find generate an entry in the journal which will which you find in your inventory okay uh, Right, that's good to know, I think. Pick up bread. Oh, hey, I got some bread. Oh, urban chest that's locked. This one isn't, though. Take it all. Don't see anything in there. Ah, so I got some garments. And what's down here, I wonder? Anything? Aha! Pots. Do so love breaking pots. Pick up some more bread. And some more bread. Uh, take a rest, but I don't really want to do that. No? Nothing more for me to smash up? And I can re-enter the village this way, although this is down below. Maybe this is the wrong location for us. Maybe I can get back up. I am not entirely sure. But we will soon find out. Okay. Oh, all right, okay. We shall go and see about these clothes. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, show him the unfitting clothes. I found those clothes you mentioned. My, my. I guess my girl put on some weight lately. Let me see what I can do. I'm glad my apprentice didn't live to see a skilled armorer turning his smithy into an alteration shop. Yes, don't say anything. It was the best I... Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Fits you like a gauntlet. You know, back in the old days, I used to do this stuff with armor, rather than just tailoring fancy dresses. If you ever find some armor that doesn't fit you, just bring it to me. I would be glad to put my old skills to the test for you. So, good luck. Uh, but wait a minute. Maybe you could do me a favor too. I need some new pliers. Ever since that assassin broke mine with his inconsiderate head, it's been a nightmare around here. I think the late ranger had some in his forest hut. I don't suppose you could go and fetch him for me. Yeah, of course. Of course. Leave it to me. Scarlet! Scarlet! Thank heavens I found you. It's terrible. You're... you're... Calm down. What happened? It's your half-brother, Leon. When those people attacked, he chased after them. He left towards Ivy Creek, but he never came back. Something terrible must have happened. You have to find him. Hmm. Okay, so where is Leon? To find out, open your quest log, select Leon's quest, and select map markers. Now you can see your destination on the minimap. Also use your Raven's Path. Your skill Raven's Path to make a raven show you the way. Well, I don't think we have Raven's Path, but let's just have a little look at Venetica now. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? Yes, indeed. Right. That wasn't creepy at all. Uh, 
Du, du, du. Where are we going? There's a chap down there. There's a pathway up there. Or there's a pathway down here. San Pasquale. And who are these idiots? Militia. No, I don't really want to talk to the militia. Let's just have a little hey, look down here. Hey, Scarlet, come over here. All right, mate. Jeez. Hey, Scarlet. You survived the attack. I did. Why do you sound so surprised? I saw your fighting style last night. <laughs> Luck must have been on your side. In all seriousness, though, there are some things that you have to remember. When you go head to head with your enemy, every last one of them has a weak spot. And there are no exceptions. Everyone. Except you, of course. You've got more weak spots than a four year old pumpkin. <laughs> but last Brutal. night, I found those bastards' weak spot. And I can show you how to fight them. If you want. Also, if you're experienced enough, I can teach you some new combat skills. Oh, okay. Uh, train Show fighting. me how to fight these assassins. Okay, now, I'm going to come at you like an enemy would and perform a standard attack. Only difference is I'm a little more heavy-footed <laughs> and more handsome. Unfortunately for them, their normal attack is also their weakness. Once they commit to the attack, all you have to do is dodge out the way. They're not very fast when they strike, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. Okay. And you'll be in a perfect position to counter-attack. Now, let's put it into practice. Try to hit me five times with a counter-attack. Right. But if I hit you twice, you lose. Oh, okay. It, well, I would be. Okay, so move away from your enemy's fear strike to survive. This is best done by rolling using half. The heck is half? Or by blocking, if you've learned the skill, which I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, aha, okay. Ow! No. Ow! Don't be disheartened. No, I'm not going to be disheartened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hey, Come here. Scarlet. Back for some training. Well, yeah. Teach me new combat skills. It's not much, but it's a start. Okay, so this tab shows our physical skills. You can learn skills if you visit the teacher and if you've earned enough skill points. Drag a skill onto your quick bar to have it ready for use. Well, we have no uh, skill points at the moment, but we have sword block, sword mastery, and beast knowledge allows you to gut animals to salvage remains. Okay, so that's a money skill. Uh, this tab shows your mental skills. Learn skill points. Da 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 da. Drag skill. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what do we have here then? Path of the Raven. Okay. Uh, this tab shows character progression. Okay, awesome. Hey, Scarlet, back for some training. Yeah, well, I wanted to learn Maybe that um, rolling maneuver. So, it's a roll, roll and hit. Okay, good to know. Um, Now, which house was the blacksmith's house? I mean, we're just having a little look around here at the moment. Oh, there's some copper ore there somewhere. There we go. There's quite a few bits of copper ore, in fact. There we are. Nice. And what, pray tell me, is this area? Somebody's house. Not sure whose. And where exactly does this take me? Somewhere with a whole lot of nothing. And that doesn't take us anywhere either. Okay. Well then, we may as well get continuing with the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some copper ore. We've vaguely learnt how to fight. Let's see what this guy has to say. There she is! That's the girl who destroyed our village! Wait, wait. What? You heard me. You are responsible for all that happened. They were here for you, and now you will have to pay for it. Or, I could beat you. Uh, oh! Now she got what she deserved. 
brutal. But of course, being the daughter of death, I'm sure that's not how it's going to end. <laughs> what are you? A demon? Please, please forgive us. We had no idea. Uh... I would make them pay for their treason, but no, go on, show them mercy. Let this be a warning. Now get out of my sight. Only because I'm not overly confident in my fighting skills at the present time. Probably could have made myself some experience there, but never mind. What's up here, quickly? No! Don't! Don't go there! They're, they're too strong! <sighs> what? What do you mean? Too strong. Who are too strong? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Those were peasants. They don't even have proper weapons. You are right. Whoa, okay. Way, mate. There's quite a few of them. There's millions of them, in fact. Ow. Move, run, move. Okay, definitely bit off more than I could chew here. See if they reset. Get them, guys. Okay, wow. Wasn't expecting it to be quite so uh, high end right there. Uh, that shows us the map and the quests. Okay, fine. Uh, completed quests. This is the journal. Okay. Aha! So that's what's equipped at the moment. This does 8 damage. These do 12 damage. So we now have a sword, and I'm also bloodied to death here almost, I'll come back for them later. Let's have a look down here then instead, and we're Ivory, Ivy Creek and Copper Mine, this is actually where we should have gone first. Ooh, what was that? Copper ore, oh, fantastic. Some mushroom there. Anything in the box? Nothing in the box. Wow, these stairs. Jeez. Now you'll pay for what you've done to our village. Oh no, fearless fighter! Let us live! Don't mock me, scum. As you like. Then we'll rip it to shreds right away. Won't be too difficult. <laughs> Right, let's just get rid of these idiots. Ow! I'm about to die. Like, literally about to die. Get him, Leon. Is that your real name? Especially as I can't see anything at the moment. Whoa! This guy woke that up. No, no, no. No, no, no. I, I genuinely can't see at anything at the moment. So let's head up here. I need to be able to heal. I picked up some bread, did I not? Whoa, he's right behind me. Gordon Bennett. Is this the right way? Absolutely no idea. I can he see anything. Picked up some copper ore there. 
This guy is still following me. Get him, boys. Now, get him, boys, I said. Guys, stop playing Ring Around the Rosie and bloom and hit him. Come on, there's enough of you now that you can kill him quite easily. Alright, this is getting silly. Whoa, he's still coming for me. But, alright, I come back to life. You've died, but you had enough twilight energy left to resurrect. There is only one weapon you can use to recharge twilight energy. Okay. Scarlet! Ooh. Why did you have to go and spoil things? I had everything under control. Uh, I just saved your life. I just saved your life, brother. I don't need you to save my life. I'm a grown-up now. You never let me have any fun. This discussion is over, young man. Go home now. I hate you! And I just don't want to lose you, too. Uh, I have no idea what's going on, but we've spawned back where the fight was actually happening. So I've just reached a new level. You've gained attribute points, skill points. P press select to open the inventory and you can distribute AP. If you want SP, you'll need to find a teacher. Okay. Good to know. Search this guy. Yeah, level two. La la la. Devil's cap there. There was something here. Was there dew mushroom? Oh, there was something else. Just there. No, that's a signpost. And I'm sure as I was running away from the assassin, I passed something back up here. But um, for now, let's have a look at our skills. Oh, that's where we go for health. Mix item, open shortcut. Oh, I see. So they give 20. Okay. Quest items. <coughs> okay, so we have... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Three points to spend. Constitution, wisdom, strength and mental power. Constitution, I would imagine, is health. Wisdom... Uh, pass strength mm, yep yeah, that's obviously damage that we do and mental power I take it is like our mana so I would put probably a point in health um, wisdom I still don't know strength it's probably a good idea mental power maybe let's do it that way cool and as it said we need to go and find someone who can teach us stuff that looks like a mushroom there Honey mushroom, thank you very much. There's a skeleton here. With nothing on him. Well that's not right, because any other video game, like the Elder Scrolls or whatever, he would have had something on him, no? Okay, well let's head through this way. See if we can't work out what's crack lacking you will go nowhere. Oh, come on. What would you do with the oh, Two guys chatting over there. Maybe that's the way we should be going. I'll just go in there and search for the whip. Stay away. This is family business. Yes, and the controversy will be solved pretty soon. With this blade. Um... What's going on here? Wait, what's going on here? Sometimes there are things in life that can only be solved by a good old-fashioned duel. I'd stay out of this. Well, I could use some help. No, help me! Help both of them. Maybe I can help you both. It's plain and simple, really. Our uncle died, and we both came here to claim the inheritance. One of us needs to go inside and look for his will, but this guy here is not to be trusted. Oh, yes, I am. You were always the villain in our family. The problem is, the will will be hidden. There'll probably be some sort of puzzle. Our uncle was very fond of puzzles. 
even a bit paranoid, you might say. Uh, okay. Well, I'll go and search for it then. I'll find the will. Then maybe you two can stop bickering. If you need any help, just give me a shout. Yeah. Maybe we can help you somehow. Yeah, of course you can. I could slice both of you open and just steal it for myself. But in any case, let's have a little look around here. There's a honey mushroom there. It's getting a few health items. Let's go on inside the house. Naturally, we get loading screen. Can't destroy that. Uh, a locked room, okay. So I guess we have to look upstairs. Lots of documents. Uh, that's got the pliers though. What the hell was that noise? There's something up here. There's a chest containing copper ore and some mune. I'll quite happily take all of that gubbins. There's a little mouse and a mouse trap there as well. Anything? Well, I can see stuff. Yeah, money. Enter forest. Uh, there doesn't really appear to be an awful lot in this house other than that one chest. Have you found anything yet? Keep your eyes open. The old man was very fond of puzzles. Yeah, I can see something down there. So, whoa, 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 hold on. Looking at this, second, fourth, third, and first. Second, fourth, third, and first. I reckon there's going to be like a tumbler system or oh there we go second fourth third and first hey See, I know what I'm doing. The will. It says everything should be given to Nesto, and there is something about an unseen blaze. All right, well, let's go and give these cretins their uh, will. We're going to grab the blade, and I think we'll have to end it there for today. Whoa. You found the will? I did. Surprise, surprise. Now, let me see what the old folk wrote down. Don't give it to him. He'll twist it for his own good. You'd best read it out to both of us. This place would make a great shelter for homeless children. That was always my dream. Yeah, what, right, whatever. Here, in this forest, honestly, Don, a pub with some gambling and plenty of ladies would suit this village far better. Or I'll just tear it down and sell the wood. They seem to need some up here. This is my final will. I command that all that belong to me shall be... Uh, I've got to say it how it is. Given to the family of Nesto. Fate is with me once again. Unbelievable. You don't deserve it. Finally, I'll have some money in my pockets again, as it is fitting for someone of my nobility. Nobility? It'll be gone in a week on wine and women anyway. There's more. Except for the Unseen Blade. Hidden in the world of twilight, it will be searched for in due time, and only discovered by its heir. The one without family will be reunited with the past. What is he going on about? A blade hidden in a twilight world? Strange. It says... The one without family. There's only one person without a family in this village. Me. So, you think this message was intended for you? Well, why not? She seems a little mysterious to me anyway. Well then, 
Let me invite you all into my new mansion and see if we can make head or tail of things. Not that we'd be any good in supernatural stuff, but having been educated in precision mechanics in our youth, we could possibly help you open some locks. <laughs> oh dear. These guys are funny. Yellow, blue, red, and green. Okay. Picking a lock is just a matter of finding the right order. Trivial for people like us, trained in fine craftsmanship. The door is now unlocked. We'll wait for you outside. Fine, fine. Bunch of Muppets. Let's head on inside. If this goes and takes us into like a cutscene or something, I'm probably going to have to end it. Um, only because in reality, I'm running a little bit behind on time today. Pick up the bread, even though that looks mouldy. Search shrine. That looks like where it should be. What does that remind you of, ladies and gentlemen? That looks like a scythe. Okay. Look, I found it. It's just like in the legends. Why is he whispering? It looks pretty battered to me. Maybe you should let a smith take a look at it before you give it a whirl. Speaking of which, how can you be sure you're the one the blade was intended for? Um, I'll fight if, if it's I must. Necessary, then I will fight. Now that our dispute is settled, we'll be going back to Venice. And regarding these strange foreigners on the road, it would be safest if we travel together. Strange. For once, I agree with you. I need to get to Venice too. Then you are most welcome to join us. We'll wait for you at the tunnel entrance and only enter it when you're ready. But first, we need to be sure you won't get cut into pieces by the next rogue that comes by. So, how about we test your fighting skills right here, right now? What do you say? All right. Yes? Great. Spar with me and listen to my advice. Well, wow. I've been some running for quite some time now. I need to, to be blows. stopping this. In that case, a direct attack won't harm them. However, if you're quick enough, you can attack them from the side or behind. You do this by performing a quick roll, followed by a strike. Roll to the left or the right, and then strike. Try it now. Roll and strike. Okay, so focus on the enemy by holding down L2. Press the half button to roll and move the analog stick in the desired direction. Press the action button to attack. So, like that. I'm amazed. You're as quick as you're sharp-witted. The next thing to learn would be performing combined attacks. But for today, this should suffice. You did surprisingly well. well Maybe thanks. you'll stay alive until we reach the coast. Well, if you carry on training, you might even live to see the gates of Venice. Uh, I could use some more protection. Can you give me more protection? The best we can do is be your company while you travel to Venice. And having you around will make the trip more enjoyable, too, as there will be someone with sense to talk to. We'll go now. Meet us in the village when you're ready to go to Venice. And don't forget to fix this cursed blade. Any power you may awaken from it will doubtless be an advantage on our way. Oh, and take this. It's my travel journal. It may prove useful. A good idea. Have mine too. But don't forget to give it back to me when you've finished reading. Okay. You bunch of muppets. Cool. Well, it appears we've discovered the blade. I need to go and get myself uh, seen to by the blacksmith to get this blade 
reforged and uh, maybe go and spend our points on getting some skills as well. But for now, this is where we're going to end off for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you next time for more in our Venetica playthrough. But until then, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>